Hey guys, Adam here, and today I have a video going over the newly announced iPhone 5. So the new iPhone was officially announced today at Apple's September 12th event, and it's called the iPhone 5, which is kind of strange because it's not actually the fifth iPhone, it's the sixth iPhone if you guys count. Uh, but most people have been calling it the iPhone 5 for the past, you know, year, so Apple just decided to call it the iPhone 5, even though it's the sixth iPhone. So the new iPhone 5 has a complete redesign compared to the iPhone 4 and 4S. Those two devices did have the same design and the iPhone 5's design is kind of the same. However, what Apple did is they changed the back so it's now made of both aluminum and glass. You guys can see the picture on screen right now. It still comes in black and white, but it now has an aluminum section on the back. I think it looks really, really awesome. And you guys may also be able to tell that the new iPhone is slightly taller than the previous 5 generation iPhones. And the reason for that is it now has a larger screen. It's now a 4-inch screen as opposed to the 3.5-inch screen that has been found on the last five iPhones. The screen resolution is 1136 by 640. And one thing to note here is since it's by 640, which is the same uh, screen resolution width as the last two iPhones, is the screen is not any wider than the iPhone 4 and 4S. It's just a simply taller screen and it's now 16 by 9 and one thing to mention here is it's still retina it's still 326 pixels per inch which is pretty cool moving on to the camera the new iphone still sports an 8 megapixel camera with an f 2.4 aperture but there's now a panorama mode which is pretty cool and uh one thing that was updated regarding the camera is the front facing facetime camera it's now hd which is something that i've always wanted the new iPhone also has an A6 chip, which means it has two times faster CPU performance than the iPhone 4S, as well as two times faster graphics. There's now three microphones, a 20% smaller speaker along the bottom. The headphone jack is now located on the bottom as opposed to on the top on the iPhone 4S. And there's a new dock on the bottom. So instead of the old 30 pin dock connector that you guys have seen ever since, I think Apple said 2003, and that's of course on the old iPods. There's now a smaller connector, it's 80% smaller, and Apple's calling it the Lightning Dock Connector. The new iPhone 5 is 20% thicker and 20% thinner than the old iPhone 4S. And the new iPhone comes in 16, 32, and 64 gigabyte models, starting at 199 US dollars. And the iPhone 5 now features 4G LTE, and in the United States, you can pick it up on Sprint, Verizon, or AT&T, and you do get 4G on all three of those carriers. But unfortunately, it did not come out on T-Mobile in the US, but it is on the other three major carriers. You can pre-order the new iPhone 5 starting on September 14th, and you can pick it up in stores on September 21st. So if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like rating down below and be sure to subscribe because next week on September 21st, I'm going to have a load of new iPhone 5 coverage as well as coverage on the new iPod Touches, iPod Nanos, and I'm actually going to have a video on those two new devices later today, so stay tuned. Anyways guys, thanks a lot for watching.